Hello, one and all, welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 5. I am the Max of Trades. In the last part, we uh, sort of kind of slightly met Futaba in the sense that we made physical, I guess, contact, but then she flipped out and hid in her room, and then we learned her tragic backstory, and well, let me tell you, that was actually kind of really, really messed up. Watch the video if you don't know. I ain't gonna just tell you now. That's just, that's just wicked dark. Also, Morgana is apparently, somehow, I don't know how, uh, managed to get into her room? Even though she closed the door before he had a chance to? Maybe he just waited? Either way, there he is. Were you just gonna go to sleep without even wondering where I was? We just kind of hoped you would be fine. I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. Uh, okay, well, where were you? You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. As a cat, nobody expects me to be a master spy. It really is very convenient for us. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. How much younger than us is she? Young? Like, can you have a ballpark estimate? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. Oh. Well, when you say that, it, it implies like what? Was she like 12? Okay, apparently not. So I guess about 15, 16, 17, somewhere in there. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. That's, that kind of hair requires conditioning. Mad conditioning. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief, and she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Meja down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Well, that's kind of strange. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Meja. Okay. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everybody know. Receiving orders from a macat. Oh! Alright, I guess we're going back to the future present. So are you going to be, like, understanding? I'm trying to understand the personality shift you have undergone. My dear. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Apparently. Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Indeed we did, as it turns out. <laughs> are are you surprised? That should be obvious. I mean, Mejid was... Yeah, they were threatening us and we were trying to find a way to stop them, but... I mean, that this was... <laughs> despite it being significantly more complicated, it actually is the probably the most simple solution we could have made. What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. And I could only know these things if I were telling the truth! It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Crazy, ain't it? I'm not lying to you. I have no reason to. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. Yeah, it's like, it's a, like a weird night and day situation, like... Sai in the past is so much more... I don't know, it's the same, you see, they see the same faces, but it's like, I don't know, there's just so much more anger and, I don't know, razor focus. She seems almost jovial in comparison here. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid, seeing as they are unseen. That appears to be their gimmick. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. I mean, it's basically going to be exactly like everything else I've been saying up to this point, so... I mean, I don't think, I don't think I'm, I don't, th I mean, I'm going to tell you another story about how we went into a palace and beat up some, some cognitions and stuff, like, if you didn't believe me the first three times, I don't know what the fourth time's going to accomplish, but okay, she seems to be seriously listening to what I have to say. Appreciated! Also rank up, okay. I don't get it, but okay. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. I know, right? Crazy. Also, I guess that's our hideout now. What a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Yeah, because apparently everybody is involved with stuff that's going on here. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Okay. If you'd stop interrupting. People on the internet are still saying things. Hmm. Anonymity. Gives people the courage to throw their incredibly terrible opinions at people as fact. Oh! Seriously? They're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting. 
I guess they need to get some sets of rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the fan of thieves. Stuff like don't do anything that'll hurt the school's reputation. Spread to some break quietly. Yippee ki yay, ki yay 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 yay. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Measured statement was insane. Yeah, I'm gonna try and tank the economy. Seems like an overreaction. There's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're gonna target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjed's after. <sighs> this is bigger than I thought. We can't leave the... What do you mean? You were in the room when they talked... When you heard about it. Tank the Japanese economy. Like, dang, dude. Were you were you lowballing that? Because that's going to be a problem for a lot of people. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. All right, get back in the bag, kitty cat. You know, with Morgana in that bag, I don't think I have, like, the room to carry anything I would actually, like, need in a school setting. Anyway, the school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. Everything is stupid. Why not make a post? A request might be taken. I mean, it might. Or it might not. Depends on whether or not you have an actual problem. We don't waste our time on the dumb stuff. Mm -mm. Oh. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. I was not anticipating us skipping it entirely. Okay, sure. I, I actually thought we were gonna hear like hear something there. That is weird. We've seen so many other pointless and esoteric scenes. What made that one so much more pointless? Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. <laughs> I know that feel. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Look, you realize? Mm. Everyone's got like four, okay? I've been through the costume menu. You shush. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? I mean, I'm not against it, but I guess not. Let's get to Alibaba's case. I do. Li look at all these. Look at getting burgers from freaking Teddy Burger, Big Bang Burger. Then I'll start. Yeah, you do that. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. As that is sort of her thing, I guess. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? Eh? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. Plus, if she doesn't leave the house, how? If she's so terrified to leave her room, then exactly how did she plant the bug or get to the mailbox? In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Well, then there you go. Or we sort of have our entire plan already plin planned. Going by what she has told us? Plin plan. We may even be able to identify who they are. Which would be pretty great. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Which means we gotta get up in our brainscape. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace, but can someone who isn't evil have one? Yes, Morgana. This is actually a time where y you talking would be a good thing. That doesn't matter. Okay, apparently that. The palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. So it doesn't always equate to mwahaha evil then. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. Fair enough. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. I mean, if we didn't get personas, I mean, any of us could have possibly had one, so I don't even know, man. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. Uh, other than just being a fan of Egyptian history? According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? Yeah, that sounds pretty serious. There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. But like she's got some kind of mental block on them? It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. So she's taking things from her past and changing them into a way that is tormenting her? Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Like, I am okay with that. Yeah, let's do that. Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? If anybody says no at this point, I'd genuinely like to hear a better alternative. She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. The issue is getting all of the other information. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. 
and it's just, you know, a pretty nice thing to do in general. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. I have to wonder, like, how long ago did that happen? Hold on a second. Okay. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. I mean, the situation is kind of different. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. To be put simply, yeah, I'd There's say no so. There's telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. Yeah, I guess this actually would be different than the other times we've done this. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? It's less a want and more of a gotta. Yeah, I mean, let's freaking do it. Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. <laughs> we haven't so far. Why change now? Let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? I guess. The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. So then we need to figure out what she thinks the house is? We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? And the, the, the when and the how. Let us try going to their house first. Okay. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. To the window! We didn't leave the window. Memories, huh? I'll be eh. able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I don't know. Depends on whether or not you ever actually do turn into a person. You really sure about that? That's not important. I'm talking about my memories here. Well, it's not important, then why'd you bring it up? I definitely want this mission to succeed. I'd be kind of confused if you didn't. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. Well, you think you got a palace? In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. Because cause you have a persona somehow, so I don't think that's possible by what you've told me. You really do have a gift, don't you? Uh, no, I think it's she who has the gift. If I knew how to hack, then we wouldn't be having this problem. You sure live up to my expectations. Yeah, well, to be fair, you set the bar really low, so I'm not really taking that as really much of a compliment. Also, I guess rank up with the cat! Ace Tools allows you to craft all infiltration tools. All right. Fancy. Okay. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Hey, man, it's your fault that we're late, not me. You're the one who wanted to stop everything and, you know... Get all introspective about your species and whatnot. And we don't even know if you have memories of the past. Hmm. Okay, now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit with a minotaur? Maybe an oasis? Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? <laughs> wow, man, that would be a whack place to... <laughs> like, damn, my palace is freaking hell. Like, I don't know how we'd be even be able to get through that. We don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly! Well, we can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. Oh, you have got to be joking with that nonsense. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. I can pick locks, apparently. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. Uh, hold on. I assume it was probably the room she ran into. What if he ran into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions this time. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Getting cold feet, Makoto? I don't know, man. Her shoes... Yeah, she doesn't seem to be wearing very warm shoes. Don't worry. It'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of stuff like this already. Technically, we've only broken into a house once. And technically, one of us lived there at the time, so... I suppose Futaba did get in contact with me, so... Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him. Okay. Alright, I guess we're I guess we're gonna break in. In broad daylight. I kind of want to see Morgana actually, you know, pick the lock, though. That... That, that sounds amazing. Oh, hello. This is Futaba's room. I never would have guessed. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? 
There's no answer. I mean, she's obviously in there. I just don't... I think she might be scared of, like, people. Like, I've seen... I, I haven't seen... I, I don't personally know anybody like that, but... I mean, I know of it, and I have seen, like, you know, articles and shows that show people like this. It's a very real thing, and it is next level messed up. Batapachan, are you there? I don't think we're gonna make any progress like that. I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. Plus, you look like a Pac-Man ghost, so... No reaction whatsoever. Hmm. Ah, this is gonna be hard. Need to find a way to get her to at least acknowledge us. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Yeah. So that was Alibaba? that spooked me. My, I wasn't expecting to control her rumble there. Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? I don't know. You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? Maybe. She's not responding again. All right, fine. Then we'll just have to work with her. If that's what works, then let's call her Alibaba. Not like us saying her name. I'm guessing she's got some uh, image you issues. Have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. We really need to come up with like a different term for that, because that just sounds weird in this context. The why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. And I understand that that sounds weird, but trust us, we've done this like four times. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Yeah, I'm down for that. Whatever, whatever helps you out. Okay. All right then. Huzzah! All right, that's a progress. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. I mean, in a relative sense, I don't actually like talk. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Oh, great! Awesome. What do you want to hear? Okay. Um. Let's try and ask a bit more. I guess. Like, that's too direct. And that's just too... That, like, that's too direct. That's too vague. Alright. How about this? How's living in this house? It's painful. Okay. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should ask something different. Right, right, right. I'm doing my best. It's painful. Okay. Um, why is it painful? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. All right, painful. Hello, painful. Then why don't you just leave? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. What? Die? Okay, well that just <laughs> that just went from two to ten in about half a second. Is this going to continue? Um, w why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Well, I mean. If she goes by Alibaba and we're rolling with the Egyptian motif, then yeah, tomb would make sense. Try entering tomb. And or raider. Well, okay, purple. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. Oh, all right then. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Thank you. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. It was great. Thank you. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. All right. Let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Oh crap, are we gonna pull her in too? Can... Can somebody go inside their own palace? Is that a thing? Oh boy, there's a lot of questions we're gonna have to ask ourselves today. Whoa! Huh. It's a desert. Indeed. Yeah, we see that. Mm. Awesome. Wait, what the our, our clothes are still the same? Well, she doesn't see us as like enemies, right? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. So then we're gonna have to ask ourselves what's the gimmick here? What's the What's because if 
If she just lets us in, la di da, then it's not much of a of a palace now, is it? If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? I don't know. We've honestly, if I'm being perfectly honest, it's really no different than any other time we've done it. Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. No, oh, great. It has the correct weather conditions of Egypt, too. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. So, we need to, like, look for it in a desert? I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. I mean, that, at least that place had representations of people. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Yeah. Is it that way? Maybe. Oh, yeah. There's something shiny. Well, all right, then. Yeah, it kind of looks like a pyramid. The tomb in the desert. I see. Gotcha. Anyway, let's make our way there. Not 100% sure on why with the Egyptness, but okay. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? I guess. Of course not. My paws will get burned. As if that was the most important thing to take away from that. Oh, what? Everything's Pepto. I've been waiting for this. Oh yeah. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. I don't think. Do you even have one? Can your tires even work in sand? <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. Scorpion! Sub-Zero. Sonya, Johnny Cage. Anime scene. Well, he can travel past sand. It's stuffy. I thought you needed, like, yes, I know. special equipment for that. And we can see through their clothes. Oh, now come on here! Hey -o! Is that it? I don't. What? No one looked at Makoto. That's just rude. I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna be sleaze balls about it, then we kind of gotta at least be equal opportunists. Oh well, dang! I hope that's it. Otherwise, dang, where else could it possibly be? And I don't. Just for the record, I don't actually mean that seriously. Never treat women poorly. It's so hot. Mm-hmm. Noted. AC ain't working at all. The hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. Never! It's my job. Neil, you are so half-assed. What was that? You want to fight, punk? Okay, I mean, but I'm going to be honest. Pretty sure Ryuji would beat you. Wait, does he have a wind weakness? I think he does. I, I don't know, man. Morgana, you're still, like, one-fifth his height. her palace would be a pyramid well the good news is if once we get in there i mean it should be actually rather chilly the way pyramids are built i mean probably hasn't seen light in forever let alone heat intricate hey a pyramid's a tomb right essentially yes it's a pharaoh's tomb that's how it's mostly known there are a variety of theories on it as it turns out there aren't any egyptians around to you know were there for the building of them, so <laughs> we'd have a lot of questions to ask in that case. As is, it's kind of, mm, it's kind of just like this, one of, you know, the world's mysteries and stuff, because realistically, they shouldn't have been able to build things this intricate in the way that they did, especially considering that we would have trouble building something like this now. 
for instance. It's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Oh, cool. So we're going to be fighting zombies. Awesome. Reviving the dead. It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Glad it's artistically inspiring. Can we get in there now? Hey, guys. Can we go in already? Thank you. I'm going to melt. It's funny because his, his hair looks like butter. You know, like scrambled eggs. You cook scrambled eggs, put butter in there. Oh, man. He's a so friggin' hat. Come on, let's get inside. Yes, indeed. Onwards, making sure my, my team composition is good. All right, I had to make sure. I mean, we've got the health bars and stuff, so I'm assuming things aren't going to go so great once we go in. It seems. Futaba's palace. This is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we go inside? No! How about we head back? Okay. I mean, it's not it's not like it was a pain in the ass to get here or anything. Yes. Okay. Assuming we have to make that long of a trip each time, let's try and make as much progress as we possibly can. Alrighty. Yep, this is a tomb, alright. It's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? Well, I mean, if it's based on her bedroom, then, I mean, it's possible. It may be because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, her clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. That's kind of the whole point. It is to, you know... Store, store away a person's body and all their stuff from things that could, you know, kill them. Oh, man. Ancient Egypt is mad cray. Like, on one hand, they're able to build, like, these gigantic structures and what have you. But, man, they also, at the same time, are like, you know, it's like, yeah, okay, so we're going to mummify you, which means we're going to have to pull your brain out with a hook through your nose. So it's just, it's wicked weird, like, how they could be so, like, as far as architecture is concerned they're flipping geniuses but when it comes to like medical knowledge they had no idea what they were doing i mean on one hand it worked i mean they the bodies were definitely preserved but to an extent it's really more not unlike just turning them into a giant piece of human sized jerky i mean i guess that is a preserve so you know clap clap good job i suppose <laughs> anyway these stairs go pretty far there's way too many goddamn many. Don't ask too much. You shouldn't be... You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. And I'm just so glad you said that. More importantly, I could totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Oi, stairs. One of my many, 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 many weaknesses. No enemies or nothing? I'm all for stuff like this. It's a casual stroll. Man, I wish going upstairs... Look how casual it is. It's just like, you know, hey. -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Do you think it's because she's not a criminal? She did welcome us in here, after all. Don't let your guard down, guys. This is a pyramid, so there may still be traps of the boobish variety. I debated in my head whether or not I should have said that, but what I said isn't factually incorrect, so it works. Makoto, you still here? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Oh, and she ran ahead. All right, cool. It's beautiful. So this is the mystique of a bygone era. The real thing suppresses any photo. I don't think you can call this the real thing. Yeah, it's kind of uh, more of an interpretation. Seems like this is going to be easy. Yeah, definitely. Something terrible is totally not about to go down. Oh, hey, it's her. <laughs> hey, there's someone there. Mm, yellow. Sure seemed like it was her. Who else would be in here? Yep, there you are. Hey, is this? Sure seems that way. Looks orange. That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Really? And here I thought she just liked wearing Egyptian-related clothing on her own. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. Or a pharaoh. Whatever. So you're Futaba Sakura. I mean, technically. <sighs> wow, you really do look like an inkling. I thought I was making a joke. I was just making an orange joke, but with the with the, the way the gl the glasses rims work, yeah, you look like an inkling. That's hey, crazy. Where's the treasure? It 
it's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. I'm sure that asking you this isn't going to result in anything negative. Hey, say something. Oh boy. Don't be like that. Yeah, don't be all like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? What kind of question is that? This is going nowhere. Why don't we just walk past her? <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Never! Why do people keep telling me that? My tomb. Why have you come? Because you asked us to. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? You asked. If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Mm-hmm. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Sundere! So that's how you pronounce it! Oh my god, Yusuke! Oh, you ridiculously amazing person! Considering the state that my palace is in... I've always wanted to know how you pronounce that! There is no way that you can steal it. Also, story things. Hi, how's it going? Voices. Nothing good, I can tell you that. Murderer, why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Ye replaying stuff like that inside your brain for a couple years would probably wear down just about anybody, yeah. Hey, the hell is this? I don't know, but I don't think her shadow's doing too good. Uh, I don't think you did. What? I am the one who killed my mother. I was told that it was... Self-inflicted is the term I'll use. Okay, hi. What was that? Have a clue. My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. So, the Futaba in the real world would like this all to stop, and her distorted self wants to die. I am actually fighting against someone's literal physical embodiment of suicidal thoughts. That is genuinely terrifying. Holy crap, this... I'm actually... Ugh, I don't... I don't really know what to say. That is... We gotta help her. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? I'm sure they'll catch up to it eventually. Alright, what horrible thing is about to go down? Oh! Hmm? This... again? Child. You killed her! You're a plague that murderer! Man. Why don't you say You're something? the one who killed her! That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. Okay, now see, I wasn't there. I don't know every detail. I've only heard the story once, and I can't really, you know, surmise a uh, picture-perfect version of the events that took place, but I have reason to believe that perhaps you are not directly involved with something like that, and you should not be saying stuff like that. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. Yeah, no, 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 no. We are attempting to do so! Your subconscious has different plans. Okay, yeah, this is a vastly different situation than what I'm actually used to from this game. <laughs> way, to, way to toss out a different way of doing things. Like, my goodness, what is this, like, part 72 or something? Like, holy cow. This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and interruption! What now? Indiana Jones Boulder. Yeah! Called it! Oh crap! Bad, 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 run! Indiana Jones Boulder! Yes! Running! Oh hey! I see you guys decided to skip the Prometheus course and running away from things. 
You actually moved to the side when you could. Smart. You'd survive a horror movie. Oh! We're safe. That was too close. We were almost a Jill sandwich. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What do we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. I think our best option is finding a way in. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? Why do you give me a choice when they're the same choice? Well, let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. Like, seriously, you might as well just have both say yes. Don't put choices in your game if your choices don't mean anything. Ugh. At least it doesn't have the audacity of some games that have that thing. For the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. Okay, so we've got about a month. The phantom thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Well, to be fair, I mean, it's not like we were always, you know, making ourselves known. Carry out their cyber terrorism? Are we all doomed? Should we start blaming the phantom thieves right here and now? The answer is yes. In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Why are we saying her full name like that? Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Okay then, so there you go. Meeting up in Shibuya then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. What? what? Wait. Are you saying that we should make our hideout somewhere that isn't in blatant public with lots of people just walking past us on a daily basis? What a crazy idea! Yeah. It's real good for me. I don't have to leave. As long as, you know, it's the flippin' attic and not this table. We must take care not to be discovered by boss. So that's why we'll go to the attic. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. I'm imagining tricks and traps and all manner of riddles. So that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. Q laugh track. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. Oh yeah, I guess that is the kind of thing a thieves would try to get into and steal from. Eh, thematically it still works. I thought it seemed a little random. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? Well, panicking about it certainly isn't gonna help. I know that. Might as well, you know, try to enjoy yourselves. Whoopsie. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Alright, now I guess the conversation has gone over here. Shut up! It was a great view. I don't... I admit I'm not good with the talking of the, to the people, but I feel like that was the worst decision. <laughs> the worst possible sentence. You guys were looking too, am I right? I mean, all I really saw was you, because of your weird face. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. And sidestep the conversation. Good going. Keep going. Do it. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. That's because you are a car. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed. Am I right? Ha! <laughs> <sighs> Will we be all right like this? <laughs> this team really should not work as well as it does. Your hideout has been moved from the freaking access way to, I guess, my bedroom. Hmm. Okay, then. So be it. Hmm? Well, not again. It's, ah, it's happening already. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, that's spooky as all hell. I never thought I would ever be intimidated by somebody wearing an ID lanyard. It was like if you bumped into, like, the girl from the ring, but, like, while at Comic-Con. Also, I guess that was her mom. Could have gathered as much. I mean, they looked pretty dang similar. It was just kind of a different air color. Oh, hang on, pants are dinging. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Mejed? 
Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a waste. Uh, it'd be a shame if our efforts went were a waste. Majed will definitely make a move. Holy Baba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Uh, I'm gonna give you a rough ETA of about two to three days. Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba, can you really do something about Mejed? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? Yeah, that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Like, show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? All right, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then... Wait, are you ditching us again? Well, this is troubling, but uh, we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why'd this have to happen during summer vacation? I don't have any other choice. Uh, as always, we'll have to uh, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Hi, Chihuahua. You never see it come back.